Hi, hello. This is Anoop here. In this video, what we are going to see is uh, how to enable auto enrollment uh, for Windows uh, 10 devices in Azure new portal. Okay, Windows 10 auto enrollment. So whenever a PC or a device join to Azure Active Directory, it will automatically get enrolled to N uh, MDM okay mdm auto enrollment so that means whenever a pc windows 10 device join to azure active directory it will automatically get enrolled to intune okay so that is what mdm auto enrollment option is in the classic portal where is option it's, it's in my directory okay so if i go to directory and applications in tune configure so this is the option to do that if in my case you can see that uh, all the users are allowed to do a mdm auto enrollment this option helps us to perform two things first one is Windows 10 devices will automatically get enrolled to MDM management if the devices are joined to Azure Active Directory. Okay, so that is the first one. And the second one is all the users uh, or if you can specify user groups if you want, those users would be able to join their devices into MDM enrollment. So what, what is the difference between two? One is AD joint. Whenever user uh, joins a device to AD, it will automatically join to Intune for management or uh, any other MDM for management. And the uh, second one is whichever devices, Windows 10 devices, um, if it's a BYOD device, then Users won't uh, prefer to join uh, Azure Active Directory. Rather, they will use uh, their own personal email ID uh, to, to log into a PC, okay, or a device, and uh, they they want uh, company resource access. So they to get the company resource access, they need to enroll into MDM. Uh, if they want to enroll into MDM, they need to be part of this particular group okay or, or you can either select all users or group groups actually depends on the scenario if you want to take a phase based approach then it's always better to go with uh, groups okay and you can uh, you select a particular group and particular uh, list of users and they will only get access to enroll their devices okay they can even enroll their ios devices android devices etc so i will come to these three options in the new portal that is uh, basically uh, the option in the old portal so where is the option in the new portal okay. This is new um, Azure portal. The previous one was Azure uh, Classic portal. No. And uh, where is the option? Uh, this particular MDM auto enrollment option and MDM management option in the new portal. So this I am in Azure Active Directory over here in the um, in the Azure new portal. And if you can see, there is option mobile mobility mdm and mam so click on that option you can see intune microsoft intune so before going into microsoft intune if you want to uh, integrate any other third party mdm tools to azure active directory here is the place to do that so for example if you want to integrate airwatch okay uh, or mobile iron so this is the place to um, Azure Active Directory with AirWatch. If I click on AirWatch over here and just say add, okay. It is adding the application for the integration. Same thing with um, Mobile Lion as well, okay. So I can add um, 
mobile and also for the integration over here okay with azure active directory okay so it's still adding the application so i can see the both the applications are added now we can configure the settings over here see so they have different um, mdm uh, terms of uh, use url and uh, mdm discovery urls okay so uh, even mobile lion has those things and if i go back to intune there, there there are three options right the complaints one is specific to intune there is no options in other mdm management tools okay for the complaints okay intune has that option if you look at uh, the mdm user scope over here this is where we can uh, add the groups if you want to um, do a phase based migration or if you want to allow a particular group of users uh, to enroll their devices you need to select some okay and uh, then you can select the group uh, azure active directory group over here okay <clears throat> So you can select any group and uh, you can click on select but that is the option okay so in my demo what i'm going to do over here is i am going to select all okay and uh, what are these urls uh, this uh, first one is uh, ter terms of use okay that is very generic and uh, the second one is mdm enrollment uh, endpoint uh, service url where the devices will get enrolled okay and the th third one is complaints you are whenever you uh, users device is out of complaint not matching the criteria uh, then devices can uh, check the stat complaint status with the url and it will automatically uh, remediate it okay otherwise uh, it may require a user intervention in some cases okay so so that is complaints url so so these are the these, these are the three options and uh, the this is uh, windows 10 auto enrollment and mdm enrollment for I ios and uh, android devices so you for example if uh, you have selected none in this right and you did save uh, none of the users won't be able to um, enroll their devices into M MDM. Okay, so for example, if you are if a user ha user is having a Windows 10 uh, personal device and they want to uh, access company resources and for that they need um, MDM enrollment. Okay, uh, then if this is set to none, uh, users uh, MDM user scope then uh, the user won't be able to get the policies details from the mdm channel thank you for watching